Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with a brand new series. This is a game called King's Quest. Um, it is a remake or a visual refresh of an old 90s series that was beloved by many people. I never played it. I'd heard of it, but I never played the King's Quest game, so this is going to be all new to me. And let's get into it. I think it's a puzzle game with like humor. Oh wow. That looks great. It's my inventory. That is really, really nice looking. This looks like a, a Disney movie on my screen at home. Gorgeous. Well, okay. This is, um, an unusual I had not way to been start the game. In years, but it was the last place left to look. What? Did I start at the beginning? Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Uh huh. Okay. It's a mattress. That is unusual. Yeah, I got nothing. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Kind of sounds like the voice actor of. Uncle Deckard Kane in Diablo 3. It's pretty. So far, yeah, it's just A for everything. Two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. Okay. <laughs> I guess there was sort of an indicator that if we pull the left switch, a bed would come and... I decided this was no time to take a nap, even though that bed looked very squishy and very comfortable. Yeah, so we'll pay more attention. Uh, I mean, there's a bed with a, with a guy crushed. What's with beds in this game? Uh-oh. Buckets, barrels, 
butter churns and beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seemed so familiar. It all seems so oh, familiar. Dolls, butter churns and beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. Cannot jump it all past the dialogue. So familiar. Hmm. I'm a bit. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Oh. Uh-oh. Beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... Fabled Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. You want to tell this part? Yes! King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my collection. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. So. Looking for a handle, I suppose. As I was saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be ringing a bell. Of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon, breaking the spirit of hideous beasts, amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. Is there nothing we can pick up? Those all sound like, uh, useful books. I don't know if I want to be ringing a bell. Seems like to be forcing me, that's all I can do. So, the really handle wise. was booby trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> really? <sighs> then I used my cleverness to hide. Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. I 
Okay, up here. What did you use to fix the broken switch? What's in the handle? Okay then. That doesn't wake the dragon up. The dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. Oh. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. Yeah, we, we, we can see that. Oh, hey. Wow. That's After he precarious. briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I'd probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Whoa. Look at that, that's crazy. Wow. I don't even. I don't even. Oh. What? what, what? Right, so I guess we gotta go hide in the bed. Cause that's what that's what this game's about, hiding in beds. Mom, hide. Thought they were pretty clever, but I would <coughs> find a way to hit that unreachable switch. Yep, I see it. <laughs> He's like, ew. That was pretty easy. 
Too bad that's all we get to do with the bow. We should have kept it. It's pretty cool. The mirror called out to me. Not quite sure what we should be doing. A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. We don't want to go down there, do we? Huh. Not quite sure. What's that all about? Gonna feed him first, maybe? Interesting looking dragon. Okay, so now we gotta go. That. Walk out here. Wait for it. Hmm. What's my general? I don't know. And that doesn't keep him busy? Do we just not do it fast enough? Quite sure what to do. We've got a dinner bell for him. Oh, so it went down there. Let's see if that works. Please let this work. 
Please let this work. Get that out. Shooter. Can you put my mouthwash back on the shelf, please? Now, where was I? Hopefully, he's not too far away. B, X, A. Let me get Come on. You escaped to Reminds me of Dragon's Lair, old arcade game. Whoa. I guess you could say that river swept me off my feet. I guess you just thought I got it. Come on. I guess you could say. No, you couldn't say. I guess you could say. I guess you can. Wound. Okay. I said I want to do it now, sort of. Come on. <clears throat> Ugh. 
with the magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the Daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. I had three choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. Oh. Is that what I meant to do? Freedom. It was either shoot him in the face, free him, or I don't know. I could barely grip the rope. But with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have worn the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. <laughs> I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. But... Only to my stuff bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been. Though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. <laughs> magic fruit. Cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. 
He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and we'll make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious orders. He's like Joffrey oh, Baratheon. Um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. Ooh. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set the oh, call me playing with my hat again. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over that's me. That's an awful now, lot. Let's talk about far more important issues, like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... <sighs> Treating my opponents with respect. You'll be surprised what opens up to you. A lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story, one I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. <laughs> what is that thing? Oh my god. Those are awesome. I'm controlling this. Whoa. You know. I would have slowed myself. Whoa. Ouch. <laughs> nice. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcomed mm -hmm. the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Well, that was a good start to this adventure. I'm going to say that's going to be all for now. I am pretty sure I am going to continue this all the way through to the end because I've wanted to play it for a while and it looks cool and fun so far. It's absolutely adorable. Graphics are really cool. Um, it's been fun to play so far. Not terribly challenging. Just a kind of quick time events, a little movement. Um, I guess that's what this game is about, some real basic puzzles. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to catch the next episode. That would be awesome. So that is going to be all for now. Spinning Mantis out. Namaste.